Hi, this is Mr. Springer. I'm going to do a little video today on evidences of chemical reaction or chemical change. And first one I'm going to do here, I've got a little bit of vinegar. Add some vinegar to my beaker. Just a little bit. I'm going to put some uh, red food coloring in it just to make it a little more exciting. Not that it won't be exciting enough the way it is, but at least be maybe a little more visible with the red food coloring. And I'm going to stick my thermometer in here. And maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. It's looking like right at 21 degrees. Hmm, looks like 20 there on the screen. We got that to stay. I'm going to add some baking soda. And we should see a reaction take place. Let's see the reaction forming. Oh, can you see the temperature has gone down drastically? It was at 20, it's now at maybe 16, a little over 16. So the temperature went down. In addition to that, we saw lots of bubbles being formed. Uh, first evidence of chemical reaction that we want to talk about is the formation of a gas, which was seen in the bubbling. It might look like smoke at some times, but that's the evidence, number one. Number two evidence is the... Uh, change in energy. In this case, that change in energy was seen as a decrease in temperature. It went down from 20, just over 20, to just over 15. So it went down about 5 degrees Celsius in the process of uh, reacting. All right, let's see what else we can do. Remember the red coloring, the red food coloring was just for, to make it a little more visible. Here I have a solution of iron 3 chloride. It's kind of a rusty color. You can see some of it is stuck, stuck down there in the bottom. And that's just a uh, result of it being kind of old. To that I'm going to add some potassium thiocyanate KSCN solution. And so when I add to that you should see something. Now the color of that, it really has no color. A little bit of blue that looks like the, it's just the uh, effects of the light on the plastic. But I'm going to add drops of this clear colorless to the uh, iron 3 chloride solution. And I hope you can see that it is changing color. It's becoming a redder orange than it was. So, second or third evidence of chemical reaction would be the uh, unexpected or unusual color change. And the last one we're going to look at, I have got here some cobalt nitrate solution. Cobalt nitrate solution. It's a bit pink. Cobalt nitrate solution. Wrong lid. And to that I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to get some in my dropper. That might be enough. So here's my pink cobalt nitrate solution. I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide to that. Well, it appears that we have a bit of a color change. It was pink. Now it's kind of blue. I hope you can see that. And in addition, it's gotten kind of chunky. It is no longer see-through. 
There's a chunky blue forming there. So we got the color change again, which we could not have predicted. I mean, I could have predicted it. You could not have. And the formation of a solid or a precipitate has formed as well. So those are our four evidences of chemical reaction. Formation of a gas. Change in energy. Unexpected or unusual color change and the formation of a precipitate or a solid. Thanks for watching.